Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is all about this little bottle here. So um, this is a 3-in-1 cleanser by Senegence and this is the normal to oily. Um, so I'm just going to show you the product. Um, it's like a bluish grey colour and it's got little gritty particles in it. Now usually I would do an all about the product and then the review but I thought today I would just combine them together um, because I've already started using this product um, and I didn't make an all about video on it. So considering it gets um, thicker as the bottle goes down, I probably used about two fifths of it. Um, and to be honest I used this because I ran out of my oily to acne cleanser which I obviously have but my skin is also quite oily especially in the t-zone area um, and I do have to block my face quite frequently throughout the day so I definitely do have oily skin so I thought I'd give this one a try as I had it in stock at the time of running out of my other one um, so if we start talking about this product itself it's three in one cleanser and when we say three in one um, in terms of sentence cleansers it stands for three things obviously it stands for cleanse tone and then exfoliate especially with the oily uh, normal to oily cleanser um, it has little gritty particles of volcanic ash and this volcanic ash works to gently polish the skin surface while also stimulating cellular renewal and that is honestly great because um, you're moving from the reproducing layer up to the top and then you're getting fresh cells on top but you're also um, getting rid of any dead skin on the surface um, this one is specifically designed for people with oily skin especially throughout the day and over the entire t-zone and its ingredients help to subdue surface bacteria while working to control sebum so sebum is the oil obviously and oil is good for you don't get me wrong so a lot of people don't like oil at all but oil is good for your skin it also helps make your skin young keeps your skin younger because you get less wrinkles um but of course you want to not have excess oil and this will help to remove that now that's the main properties of the this cleanser so i'm going to give you my quick review of it as you know i'm only i'm not quite finished the bottle and i usually wait until i finish the bottle um but as i am moving although i love move by the time this video goes live um i just wanted to get this filmed so this really does last this one so i put i use my two fingers on this hand and put a tiny amount on the bottom and then I just use a circular motion to go over all my areas of my face. Because of the texture of the product, you can move it around very easily. So um, you don't waste anything and you can you don't have to have enough to cover the whole face because you can use what product you had elsewhere on the rest of your face, if that makes sense. So I really like it for that aspect. I actually didn't like the exfoliation, um, the, the exfoliating volcanic ash to begin with, but it has grown on me. I've used the um, facial resurfacer less because I've been using this one, and it's almost like a daily exfoliator, um, but it's a lot gentle. It's a lot gentler, which is great if you have sensitive skin. So for that reason, I really do like this product. I also love, love, love how long it lasts because you do have to use so little. Um, in terms of results, I have noticed actually that I have got less oily. Um, I don't have to blot as much throughout the day, especially when I'm wearing makeup, um, which is great and that is the purpose of this product, but I have noticed a few more breakouts and that is because I have acne skin, which is probably why I should be using the oily to acne range, um, but like I said, this is the one I had in stock when I ran out. So I think it does its purpose great, I think it's really economic because a little goes a long way and I love the exfoliation after getting used to it for a bit. I don't like that um, the original texture is a lot different from what I'm used to, so I don't like that. I would rather it lather up, but it doesn't really subtle lather up, um, but again I've got used to that and I don't like that it makes me break out more, but that's because of my skin. So really there are no negatives if you actually have oily skin or normal to oily skin um, and yeah so if you have oily skin this is definitely the product for you um, if you have acne I would definitely recommend the oily to acne one um, yeah 
So that is it for today's video. Just the final thought to add is that I have done a full review of this product on my personal blog. I will leave a link down to that below. And if you want to know more about this product, go and check out my Hannah's Lips UK website. So thank you so much for watching this video. I'll speak to you next time. Bye. from the uh, a little